In this video, I'm going to show you how you can cut, split, or trim a video file. Now the program I will be using is called Avid Demux. Now I'm going to go to my folder or my menu and choose Avid Demux. Now I'm going to drag it to the center so it will look more pleasing to your eye. Now to open a, a video file, you can click the open folder or you can go to the file menu and choose open. Now this is the video I'm currently recording with Simple Screen Recorder. So I'm going to use Big Buck Bunny as my example. Before I hit open, look at the size of Big Buck Bunny. It's 133.5 megabytes. By trimming it, it's also going to trim the size of it where it's not going to be as large. So if you're sending someone an attachment by video, uh, video an attachment, if you trim off what you don't want them to see, then it can also make your attachment much smaller. So let me click open. It takes a moment or two and now it's loaded. Now at the bottom, this is the part you're really looking at. You use this right here, which is called your slider. You can move it forward through the video or you can back it up through the video. Now, one thing about this, this is a very short video. It's only nine minutes and 56 seconds long. So this bar right here, when I move it just a little bit, it's not jumping far in the, the video. If you had a large movie that's two hours or two hours and a half, uh, this bar right here stays the same, so moving it just a little bit jumps more time. Hopefully that's easy to understand. So they put these buttons down here. So if you're having a hard time stopping and starting at the exact location, you can use this button here to go to previous frame. And you can move frame by frame in your video. So you can get to the desired location you want to set as your beginning point. And then you can move forward frame by frame with this button. Or you can use this button to go to the previous keyframe. You can use this button to go to the next keyframe up in your video. So this allows you to move much smaller increments than just dragging it through your video. So here I'm just going to drag it. Let's say I'm going to choose this as my beginning point. I want all this section here cut out. When I'm ready to trim off this part here, I first click on the icon that has the capital A, which is my set start marker or you can also press and hold down the control while pressing the page up button and it will set the starting point the time I click that button you can see a little blue line that surrounds it this is will be a starting point of your video and it will play to the end of your video now if you want to trim off some of the end of the video you would just drag over your slider and when you reach the desired location you click on the B capital B which is the set in marker or you can press and hold down control page down and as you can see here now there's a little blue outline in the center of my video so I'm trimming off the beginning of the video and the end of the video the section right here will be my video it's a much smaller section now before I go and hit the save button to save that section let's take a look at what we have on the side here you can choose your decoder I'm gonna leave this by the default I'm also going to leave copy as my default. If you drop this down, you can change the video output to a variety of different settings. I'm just going to say copy my original video file. Where you have an audio output, if you look, there's a variety of different audio styles. Now, if I'm playing this on my uh, sound system out there, since it's Dolby Digital, I would probably want to choose the AC3 to make sure I'm getting surround sound. But since I'm playing this on my computer, I'm just going to copy the original audio track. Now if the video is off, to where you, the talking is before uh, what you actually hear, if the map moves, you can adjust this to shift your audio. You can play around with that to see if it matches up. Now here, if you look on the original video, the output is MP4. Even though I've got to copy the output, this is its container, so you can save it as an MKV Muxer, or you can save it as an MP4 or other type of video file format. So I'm going to choose the MP4. If you are working with a 4x3, the boxed videos, then you can set it to 4x3. If you're using 16x9 and that's what I'm using, you can choose this. If you have other type of aspect ratios, you can choose something different. If you have it set by 16.9, and I used to do this, and then I would cut it, and it made it box shape, I would have to come in here and choose the force, the aspect ratio, to keep it at 16.9. So if you're running into that problem, you can just click the force, the aspect ratio to what you see here, and then click the OK button. Now we're ready to trim out that section. I can click the Save button here. Or I can go to the File menu and click Save, and it will bring up a dialog box. Up here it says Big Buck Bunny. Uh, Big Buck Bunny edit I can come up here 
and I can get rid of that underscore and edit, I can say space cropped. I could also wrote cut. Make sure you're not deleting the extension. Leave the period .mp4. Hit the save button, and it's done. Now, if you got a little bit larger file, it might take a little bit longer to trim, but it's not uh, re-encoding it, so it's very, very quick. So let me close this. Go to my videos. Here's the original Big Buck Bunny, which is 133.5 megabytes, and if I click onto it, you can see it's nine minutes and 56 seconds long. If you look here, this is my Big Buck Bunny cropped. It's only 22 megabytes, so it's a very small file compared to this one. And when I double click on it, it's no longer it's no longer 9 minutes and 56 seconds. It's only a minute and 33 seconds. So if you look through here, I can go through the video. It's just as clear as the original video. It's just trimmed off the beginning and end of the video. So if you're someone that likes to record your screen maybe while you're playing a video game and you after you play a video game if you've defeated a level and only want to focus on a certain section of that you can use Avid Demux to trim off just a section of what you want your viewers or what you want someone that you want to send the video clip to to see so they won't have to watch an entire eight minutes nine minutes video or if you've been recording for hours a whole hour and if you're a teacher or an instructor and you've downloaded a video off the internet or you've recorded a video and you don't want them to see your class to see the entire video you can use Avid Demux to trim off just the section that you want your students to see you can also embed that video into a PowerPoint presentation so when do you get that section in your PowerPoint Point. the students can look only at the video and you don't have to stop and go to a folder bring up a video fast forward to it and then stay around and stop it will play when you want it to start and it will end at the exact location so that's planning ahead so the program again is called Avid Demux hopefully this video has been helpful to you if you're looking for a software to trim off or cut off or split a video in two so hopefully this has been helpful to you and have a great day